Hi everybody, it's Holly from Cape Cod Creatures. Um, today I'm going to do a few videos rapid fire. I've got a ton of tarot and oracle decks that I would like to do videos for, but then there are also video tarot challenges and then videos for the um, studio that I would also like to do. So I think I'm going to get some of them out of the way. I think it's going to be a pretty slow day business-wise because as you can see, I am again at work. Um, but we're going to start with the... Um, Australian Wildflower Reading Cards by Sherilyn Darcy. This is the book that came with them. Oh, also, as you can see, I figured out the camera situation. So, hurrah, reading. Um, what a nice, um, when I opened it, it was a nice surprise to get the box that did that did come with it. This is the box, um, nice and glossy, and I'm going to tilt it down a little bit so the glare isn't too, too bad from the lighting. Um, it's got a magnetic flap, which is nice. And it's got a, it closes really well. Um, it did come with a little insert to keep the cards from sliding around, but I kind of throw those out because cards usually like slide down into them. As you can see, it's got like a cute little flower on the inside. Um, and the box is really nice and sturdy and awesome for storage. And I think this is probably where I will store the cards. Um, and then it's got a little bit on the back about the cards themselves and the artist. Um, you can see a few of them lined up down there. Um, so yeah, I, this is how, this is probably where I'll keep them. I, I probably won't bag them. Um, and I don't know that I'll be using them very often, um, because they're kind of like short and to the point and I, you could use them to support a reading, but, um, I don't know that I would do full spreads with them. It does, the book that came with it does have a few spreads that it recommends. Um, you can do like that. Like these are all kind of big though for the kind of cards they are. Um, you do like that big one. Got a three card spread, a five card spread, um, and I believe there's, yeah, this ginormous one, the, um, I'm oh, sorry, still getting used to the backwards camera thing, the um, flower of life spread, which is kind of cute, but again, 12 cards, there's only 44 cards. Um, what I would maybe recommend is doing the spread with a tarot deck or an oracle deck with way more cards in it. Um, like the animal spirit oracle, and then maybe doing a few of the petals of that flower um, with Cheryl and Darcy's cards. Um, so without further ado, here's the deck. Um, it's a little bit thicker than what I'm going to show you because I pulled out a few of my favorites to go over. But as you can see, it's pretty thick. The cards are really nice. They're the slippery laminated kind, so they move very smoothly. Um, you can do... Um, a rifle shuffle with them you can spread them out and like kind of do like the spready aroundy shuffle i call it because i'm super technical when these cards first arrive they come in alphabetical order but i have clearly been playing with them a little bit so they are no longer uh in that order um and as you can see each card is absolutely beautiful and for some reason there's one card that keeps getting turned upside down no matter what i do um it's the the, the uh billy buttons card. Um, so yeah, I don't read reversals with these, by the way. Um, there's no need. Uh, they, they, they're pretty varied enough. Um, that being said, they're pretty all positive. Um, when you read the uh, book description, she does have like a, a, a shadowier, um, a shadowier, like, you know, like way to interpret the card, but um, it really is going to depend on how you're using it and the position in a spread that you put it in. Um, so, so to determine whether or not it's it's shady. Um, so, but you don't need to you don't need to read reversals with them, and I don't because it's just more to memorize. Um, so, anywho, um, I picked out a few of my favorites. Um, the blue gum flower is absolutely beautiful. So the type of artwork this is, by the way, is um, uh, woodblock printing. So she carves in a thing. So everything you see has been carved in relief and then printed and then uh, painted, which is adorable. Um, Native passion flower is just beautiful and it's for love. As you can see, there is a word on the bottom that kind of helps to prompt um, the meaning for the card. It helps drag your memory, but... There is a much, she's written much deeper meanings for each of the cards, which is amazing. Um, this is the uh, Mula Mula for recovery. Um, the grass tree for enlightenment. I just love the way those clouds look, and I love the perspective that you get in this card. 
Um, also, the tree spider orchid, because it's adorable. I mean, look at that. It's super cute and leggy and exotic looking. And then um, my last favorite, which is the same color scheme as the tree spider orchid, is the rabbit orchid, because, oh my god, can we even right now? How adorable is that flower? Um, so yeah, so they're easy to shuffle. Um, I, like I said, I just rifle shuffle them, and we're going to pull one right now. Um, to kind of be like, okay, let's see these things in action. And I'm just going to say, what should I focus on today? Um, rifle shuffling them, by the way, is a little stiff at first, but I think it was a little bit of working. I'm a person who definitely, um, you know, I use and abuse my cards. I get bendy with them. Um, you can also do the, like the over shuffle like this, the hand over shuffle. Because there's more technical terms for these kinds of shuffling, but I'm not really a technical kind of gal. I just kind of do what I feel is right. Um, so yeah, finish the shuffling, and then again with the do a little mixy, get it all ready to go. And then I'm just going to ask, what should I be focusing on today? And then I'm just going to pick a card based on one that like looks good, feels good, one that I kind of... You know, you get, a, you get a feeling about them. And today uh, is fairy aprons for guidance. So we're going to look that one up because we've got the handy dandy guide and this is new to me. And these are all alphabetical order, which is fantastic. So for fairy aprons, it goes on to tell you about the flower, which is fantastic. Um, descriptions, the climate it grows in and where you can find it. Um, but it says the energy surrounding fairy aprons is guidance, especially connected with your intuition and divinity. You know what is right for you now, and you have the answer within, and you need to listen to your inner self, to your guides, and trust that you are being directed towards what is right for you. Nature will support you if you believe and connect deeply. Ask, and the answers will come, and the light will shine again. The challenge associated with fairy aprons is trickery. Be very careful of secrets that you've been entrusted with and be aware that others may not be sharing theirs. As a healer, Fairy Apron supports meditation, self-healing practice, and uh, strengthening intuition. Um, that has been a theme that has been coming up for me lately. Um, more meditation, um, working on um, my intuition, and just, um, you know, seeking guidance actually it's been coming up a lot so i'm not really surprised that i pulled that card um so yeah that was the the australian wildflower reading cards like i said they are absolutely beautiful um well done very nice card stock and i would recommend them um and i got mine on amazon uh you can get them prime uh, but you can also order direct from the artist. I'm going to put her link in the description box below. And thank you so much for listening to my video.